Hey everyone, I'm Mecca here. I just wanted to come at you with a quick video about freedom and really it's the myth that because you live in a free country, you are free. That's complete BS. You know, first off, let's get to the point. Um, happy, happy 4th of July to all my American uh, followers and friends out there. I uh, love how you guys do your Independence Day. I just think it is so, so, so cool. And uh, anyways, congratulations on celebrating your freedom. But let's talk about freedom, right? Because we live in a quote unquote free country and there's over a hundred free countries in the world. So I don't even know why that's such like a, such a proud thing to be, be saying in, in this day and age. But unless you can come and go as you want, like unless you, like, you know, today we took the baby to the mall Wednesday afternoon. We just took her to the mall for a little bit before we got down to work and did what we had to do. That's freedom, right? Being able to take care of your family, no matter what type of financial situation might come arise, that is true freedom. Right? Just because you live in a free country doesn't mean you are technically free. Right? You might have a few more rights than somebody living in, in China or hell, Syria or somewhere like that. Right? But if, if, if you get a speeding ticket, for example, and you have to pay $400 for the speeding ticket and you can't just pay it without thinking about it, and if you pay that $400, that means like, oh no, how are you gonna pay rent? Or how are you gonna pay this? You're not free. You're not free by any means. You are still a slave, right? If you're in debt, you, you are, right? It says you're a slave to the lender, right? Being free means being financially free where you can take care of anything that would come up. Now, I was re looking in the news uh, the other day and this Canadian lady, it's, uh, she needs a kidney transplant or something. Husband's not a match. She might have family down in Mexico that might be a match, but guess what? Insurance sure as hell ain't gonna cover that. And of course, they don't have enough money to fly down, to fly the family up, to do all the testing that they need to be. Yet they live in Canada. They live in the land of opportunity but they're not free because they don't have enough money, right? You have to have, you like, you owe it to yourself to be rich. You owe it to yourself to be financially secure. You owe it to your family to build a financial wall around your family that nothing can breach, right? One of my biggest fears is just that. It's, you know, being in that situation where I have to do this, and it's gonna cost me like, you know, a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars. And if, if I don't do that, if I don't have the money for that, then this person like doesn't get the proper health care or medical treatment or whatever the scenario might be. If you can't make those type of split second decisions because you're worried about your finances, check yourself. You're not free. Right? And I'm not saying that. I'm free by any means. I am not. I am a slave to the lender still, right? I am working at, you've been following me. I'm still working to build myself and to build my net worth up and to get my family in that position where we have a financial wall around us, right? Think back to 2008 and 2009, right? The people that that did not affect or the people that were able to take advantage of that, those were the people that were free. You can't let the economy dictate how you are going, like how you live your life, right? That's one of the things I've been telling my wife that we are working our tail off so that as soon as, as, soon as the housing market back home crashes, because it will and it's gonna crash hard. As soon as the economy crashes, we are gonna be ready to pounce on that opportunity and take advantage of it. That is true freedom, right? Being able to take advantage of opportunities, not being dictated by outside factors. But hey, I just wanted to offer 
my two cents, but make sure you're doing whatever, whatever you need to be doing to make sure that you give yourself true freedom, that you are financially free, that you can do whatever you want when it, you know, when the opportunity arrives. So you can take advantage of those opportunities that always present themselves to the individuals that are ready for them. As always, everyone, I'm a Mecca. Take care.